Adobe Illustrator is a vector drawing tool, which means you can create shapes and different types of paths using a series of tools. In this video, you'll gain an understanding of what a vector path is composed of by exploring paths in Illustrator with the selection tool and the direct selection tool. To follow along, open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. To see all of the artwork out here, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Start by selecting the Selection Tool in the Tools panel on the left. Come out to the artwork and click right on this line to select it. This is a path. Paths are composed of anchor points at the start and end of a simple path, with a path connecting those anchor points. In a path like this, the anchor points control the length and direction of the path. Select the Zoom Tool in the Tools panel on the left and drag across this curved path to zoom in. Then select the Selection Tool in the Tools panel and click right on this curved path above the line. When you select a path with the Selection Tool, a bounding box surrounds the path, allowing you to resize, rotate, and transform the path as a whole. In the Properties panel to the right, you'll see the properties of the selected path. Notice that there's a stroke applied to this path, but no fill. Click the Fill Color, make sure the Swatches option is selected, and select a color. I'll select this blue. Notice that the stroke doesn't completely surround the fill. This path is called an open path because the anchor points on the ends of the path are not connected. To remove the color fill, choose Edit, Undo Apply Swatch. So you can see the anchor points that control this path. Select the Direct Selection tool in the Tools panel on the left. The Direct Selection tool can be used to adjust the path and the individual anchor points. This can give you control over the shape of the path after you've created it. Move the pointer over the top anchor point of the curve and click to select it. You should see these lines coming from the anchor point. These are called direction handles or control handles. Any anchor point you create can have these handles and they can be used to curve a path and control the shape of that curve. Drag the end of a handle and you'll see that the curve of the path changes. The last type of path you'll look at are shapes. A shape, like a circle or a square, is a closed path, since the starting and ending points of the path are the same. In other words, all of the anchor points are connected one to another in the shape. With the Direct Selection tool selected, click the edge of this circle. You should see the four anchor points that control the curve of the path. Move the pointer over one of them, and then click to select it. You'll see the direction handles that control the curve. Try dragging that selected anchor point, then drag the end of a handle, and you'll see the curve of the path changes. There are a lot of paths and shapes you can create in your Illustrator projects, and all of them are made up of anchor points, paths, and when necessary, direction handles to create a curve. Understanding what paths are composed of is a great first step to creating and editing your own artwork in Illustrator. You can close this practice file without saving by choosing File, Close.